you and you came out with like like cutoffs and like earrings and you look like a huge tool i'm like oh my god this guy's not gonna last <laughs> oh look at me now. huge huge douche uh, oh, you, <laughs> that was a fucking yeah that was awesome back then uh, we are awesome dads okay husbands and terrible golfers We dive into golf, fatherhood, and life. This is the Breakfast Balls Podcast. Nailed it. Welcome to episode 84 of the Breakfast Balls Podcast with your host, Mark Budden and Chris Laporta. I think we got to get started and, uh, and let our listeners know we made a mistake. No. (laughs) First time. No not Uh, us yeah first time it was on episode 83 one of our uh, fans uh, did a little fact check on us and apparently (laughs) only took 83 episodes for someone to tell us that we're (laughs) idiots but apparently the saudi golf league is the greg norman golf league so not that there isn't two different potential golf leagues out there but we made it sound like Greg Norman's league was different than the Saudi league. Yeah. And um, I, I actually thought they were. I did too. I still, <laughs> I still do. I'm, you know, did anyone fact check the fact checker? No, Make sure can't. he's right. We don't do that kind of work. Uh, no, we'll just give him. We kind of take it. stuff at its face and then trust our gut if it's bullshit. And then backpedal from there. So our fact checker uh, has told us that we're idiots. It's the same league. Stop being morons. You um, dumbasses. A lot of uh, choice words for I us. wonder how many people either and or knew that already that um they were the same or mm-hmm. <laughs> then, then believe us yeah. that they were the same but they didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, gotta give it give credit to credit to do our R and D department, obviously top notch, didn't do any research last time. They just let this one slip through the and cracks. And they let it keep going. And they let it, they didn't stop us or correct us on air. So here we are, hat in hand, um, telling everyone we were wrong. Asking for forgiveness. Too. Uh, just, you know, forgive us. We made a mistake. We're not perfect. Yeah. No. Uh, you know. I think, I, we, think- I think we've established that there's 0% perfection between either of us. We just strive, strive to get better, a little bit better uh-huh. every day. Right, Mark? Yeah. Just just be better than you were the day before. That's all you can ask for. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so if you're counting at home, that's minus one for us. Uh, or every, plus probably like 69,000 right now. So. At least. So yeah. we got one wrong. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. So, But when Greg Norman does break away from the Saudi League, we'll be the first to report it. Uh, <laughs> when he started his own, his own league. <laughs> yeah. So there's been a lot of a lot of hoopla around the Greg Norman Saudi League. Yeah, Bryson was just offered one billion dollars. Um, That's with a B. Yeah, a, one of these one billion Bryson. dollars to go play. I think he turned that down, um, saying he's committed to the PGA. He wants to only make his, you know, his couple mil a year and be done with it. Yeah, one billion's too much for him. I still think he was considering it, but there was a lot of pressure for him not to do it. Yeah, no, I, I, it's a big leap of faith to be yeah. the first one to do it. But yeah. it sounds like Phil might be the first one to do it. Well, supposedly there's like 17 or 18 golfers lined up to do it. Already. Um, I'm sure there's like we talked about the middle, the road to low to the low guys on the the tour that would jump at something like that when you know you can I think double some your, of the, pay, your some pay. of the European guys too for and sure then, yeah easily the European guys could jump ship seems like a no brainer um, the European league is already funded by a lot of Saudi companies anyways well then there you go so what the hell's the difference to them so we'll see Phil's ready to jump Rory is calling him out as a buffoon I don't know, maybe not ha- use the word buffoon. not having it I mean might as well um basically naive. said he's an idiot naive uh, being stupid yeah. about it yeah uh if i'm phil i get it you're 
you know, you're, it's going to be hard for you to compete at your age. Um, he can compete on the champions tour if he wants. He's dominates the, he's dominated the champions tour. Right. So I think he's still looking for something more competitive. Right. Well, and the money's obviously not there in the champions tour either. So correct. And he, you know, um, he's got a, he's got a hole in his pocket. So mm-hmm. he needs that money. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a gambling man too. So it's uh it's kind of like a gamble for him. And I don't know that it's a bad decision for him. Uh, I, don't, I mean, it's your own decision, right? Like yeah. R- Rory's saying like, and this is what I was talking about a minute ago, but he's like, you know, we know where that money comes from, et cetera. They're, you know, they have, they don't, you know, they're not really great with human rights, like, you know, equality and all that stuff. But I, sure. I was, there was, there was a couple articles out, like how much Saudis fund the European tours already. So like, how's Guess that? What? You know, the Saudis fund a lot of things in the U S too. Yep. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Hmm. I mean, they've got a lot of fucking money and they've got yeah. black gold. Yeah. They've got all the oil in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of interesting to see, like get started. Like there's a lot of talk, but I'm interested to like see it come to fruition and things start to unfold and put things in place. But I mean, Phil's yeah. And Phil's point is that um, that he he thinks that is making a point that the PGA should do more for players. That's his stance, and he's you entitled know? to his opinion, correct? And his choice, correct? You know, if he wants to play there, I'm not going to think any less of him as a golfer if he switches that lead. Why? What do I care? I'm not going to watch him play. I'm not going to go turn the TV on and watch him play. Probably so, not. Uh... You know, talks maybe, about the time difference. It's going to be hard to. Oh, oh, here's another. Here's another fact issue. Okay, really fact me. Fact it, me. You really shouldn't. Um, it's not going to. That's not going to be a factor because they're not. They're actually going to play golf in Saudi Arabia. They're going to be playing golf like 17 of the 20 tournaments are supposed to be in the U.S. Oh well. Then there you go. <laughs> there won't be a time issue. I mean, it's still a time issue. If you ask me but um because if if my choice is between the pga tour and the saudi league and sure. they're running on the same time i'm sure strategically they're not they're not going to have the first like saudi tournament saudi league tournament second week the days of masters you know? like <laughs> yeah it's not i mean they're not going to do that right uh yeah uh makes a lot you know we 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 get fact checked sometimes it makes sense obviously now hearing that yeah of course they're (laughs) not gonna play every tournament in saudi arabia um i don't know how many courses they (laughs) they, i'm sure they have a decent giant desert uh yes it is a giant desert um yes makes a lot more sense that um they'll start maybe they'll go to Doral maybe Doral is one of their stops since the PGA tour doesn't go there anymore maybe it's sure. you know him and Mr. Trump and uh the Saudis make a little deal to bring uh the tournament back to the back to Doral and, and see bring the, Blue the 20, 24 election <laughs> let's make it political quickly let's start talking about elections and um uh, you stop know stop the vote yeah stop the vote <laughs> Jesus uh but anyway we've stand corrected fact check us more often folks i'm sure yeah. we've said a lot of stupid things but yeah i don't don't believe anything that comes out of mark's mouth especially if it has to do with someone's age well yeah i Just don't yeah i have no idea what people's ages are just struggle with that although you still don't know that we're only a year apart and we've known each other for it's been a God. long time 20 oh, probably close to 20 years now <laughs> no, we were no no maybe 15 how about 15, 15 years yeah 15 probably years. Tw- it's probably 23 and you would have been 20 so, so 15 years <laughs> 22 and we've always been about a year apart <laughs> and you still struggle i think that, you so. i think we met you were i think you just graduated and nicole was a sophomore we, so we, then you had you were one year removed from being graduated um did you yeah. no no maybe we maybe we still met. one year apart no, still no. still guess, and then yeah. we were too i'm not i'm not arguing that fact that we're more than a year apart but we are more than a year apart slightly um 
I was pointing out that I think either Nicole is graduating or you just graduated. I, I, maybe Nicole's in her last year. She might, we might've met when she was in her senior year. So it would have probably uh, been two years no, removed for you. I remember it vividly when I first met you. Maybe no. vividly is not a, not a good word because it wasn't vivid. Uh, we were driving Natalie to law school in, yeah. at Michigan State. I slept over. You and you came out with like, like cutoffs and like earrings, and you look like a huge tool. And I'm like, oh my god, this guy's not gonna last. <laughs> oh, like, look at me now, huge, huge douche. Oh, uh, you, you were. That was a fucking yeah. That was awesome back then. Uh, was it a douchebag in the mid 2000s? <laughs> <laughs> Huge douche. Me, real cool guy. Um, yeah, that's that's when I met you. We had, I was picking. We were picking been, Natalie up. That would have been 2007. So I was two. Year, right. I was two years out of school. Alrighty. So you were a year out of school. So it, was, it must have been a call senior year. We're going into her senior year. Could have been. Could have been. I just remember going to her graduation, like when we yeah. first met. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, that sounds right, right? Yeah, we're still talking about this, but it was we were in our early twenties, maybe 24. early twenty, early, early, early twenties. Yeah, I had early a full. 20s. I mean, I had a full head of luxurious hair. You did have hair back then. Lots it's, of hair. It's true. Yeah, it was probably mm-hmm. about thirty pounds lighter. A little curl fro, I think he had going. Yeah, that's the long curly fro. Mm-hmm. That was the thing. A little puka yeah. shell. Pukas. Ooh, I rocked pukas. Maybe uh, I think oh, I had a uh, good time. What'd you call it? What do you call this? A soul oh, patch. A little soul, soul patch. Flavor little soul saver. Patch. A little flavor saver. Some sideburns, maybe. Oh, everybody. Yeah, some good long chops, right? You know, down to the bottom of your ears. Yeah, you know, listen to. Listen to the pop punk. Listen to Avril Lavigne. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can't think of Blink One Eighty Two. That's better, probably. We might need to fall circle up, back. Fall out, boy. I think fall we might boy. need to circle back on your Avril Lavigne addiction <laughs> here. This is, that was weird. That, that was that's what came to your mind first. On... Only reason I say that is because she's got she's back and she's they play one of her songs on. Um, uh, Alt Nation on Sirius XM. Mm, mm-hmm. They play one of her songs. It's always like oh, it's Skater a, Boy, like like punk. No, no, it's a new song. Like punk rock is back now. Apparently, oh, like, oh, she's like literally singing again. Yeah, it's a oh. new song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And that would make me think of like all the old like punk rock bands, and like mm. I haven't heard of anyone coming out with new songs. Maybe Travis Barker, but it's not Blink One Eighty Two anymore. And like I thought they tried out. again maybe a couple years ago. But like yeah. punk rock is back. And I just yeah. thought of Avril, Avril Levine because I just heard one of her songs. Yeah. New song. Okay. So that's how I got there. I couldn't name one of her old songs. I couldn't even name her new Skater song. Boy. Right? I mean, well, Skater Boy. Skater Boy. Obviously. I don't know if she had any. She was songs. dating someone from Blink-182, I think. It Might have been issue. Travis. Yeah, could have been Travis. I don't oh, know. He's with a Kardashian. Is Look he how really? far he's come. Isn't he married to one of them? Get our idea on this. What? I thought... I thought it was like a thing, like uh, now it's Pete Davison and Travis Barker in there. Really? Look this up. I I I feel like I'm right. I feel like I'm I'm almost up to date on my pop culture. The Chloe? No. Courtney. It's Courtney. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Might be married. Are they married? I feel like they're married. <laughs> Not, not that that really matters anymore. I mean, I'm asking them if they're married. They, they go through asking R and D. They go through husbands like candy over there. So it they're, doesn't really matter. Uh, R and D just said they're only engaged. They're only engaged. engaged. Only okay. engaged. Yeah. yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, Didn't Travis yeah. Barker survive like a plane crash? Dude? Yeah. He 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 survived a plane, cr- literal plane crash. Yeah. Yeah. God. Fucking crazy. How do we get there? Don't know. Um, here we go again. Is there a spider? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, back we're, to golf. We're talking Those... about the Saudi, Saudi golf. Saudis. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. All right, let's get toward the Genesis. Uh, did you watch any of the Gen- Genesis Invitation Open Challenge? 
Uh, <laughs> a good challenge. Invitational. Uh, you still, and this goes back to last our conversation. Still don't know what it's called. It's it's it is the, the Genesis Invitational, but it's also under the Genesis Open too. Could be, but I saw it, it on their. Um, I know in their, in their backgrounds and their so signage. The same, co- same same conversation we had last year, though. Yeah, but you know, uh, is I it feel more confident with the Invitational now. No, so yeah, that's where you're at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it feels like deja vu. All over I mean, again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, all over again. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, anyway, uh, wire to wire from Joaquin Manoa. No, I mean Joaquin uh, Newman. No. <laughs> French guy? <laughs> Not Joaquin Noah. Uh, no, he's uh, Chilean. He's a yeah. Chilean star. Uh, he um. Kicked all of that 23 yeah all of 23 yeah came out fire on thursday friday 1600 uh, first two rounds that's a record there just ripped it to shreds and then yeah. uh played it well on the weekend i mean he was just pin seeking making pots those greens are not easy those greens no. are extremely difficult those greens are fast as fuck um i don't know if you noticed it seemed like the rough was down I don't know. I don't remember it last year. I don't have a good memory, but it's that grass. Like, remember, they've got that other grass there. Yeah, the rough it seemed like the first cut of rough was, or at least the rough was like they had a lot of room to work with. The rough wasn't bad, but the greens yeah, but, were just. Fast. But Riviera has that that grass that's like yeah. more difficult. I can't remember what it's called, but mm-hmm. it's that special grass you can't really find anywhere else here in the U.S. I think this is a lot in mexico or something but yeah i feel like we're having the exact same episode as we did about a year ago um our fact, <laughs> our fact checkers will get us on that again um yeah wire to wire just played played that course well didn't make 72, any 72 hole lead didn't make any big mistakes and um yeah played, played smart golf on sunday didn't need to do much there was a couple stretches there where it went from you know, it got down to one, I think, mm-hmm. and then got all the way, all the way up to five. But, you know, when you got like Colin chipping in for Eagle or you know, there was a couple big, a couple swings here and there, but he kept his cool and uh, 23 year old Chilean. Yeah, one at one at one of the hardest, you know, it's a hard course. It's guys it's, like playing there, it's a very difficult golf course. Tough course. I was fun. I, I don't know. I like watching 10, whole 10. The 300 yard, 300 yeah. yard uh, par four. four. Yeah. And I think the stats are saying like almost everyone goes for it now. Or like if you go back like 10 years. That was layup. Um, but it's fun watching them go for it. Yeah. Like no one was hitting that green, but it's everyone was going enough. for it. It's a yeah. tough, tough green, but it was fun to watch. You know, yeah. get some guys spraying it left, coming over the top, just double cross. <laughs> What, who is it? Adam Scott hit it into porta potties. That's right. Um, I think he took a double bogey there. That was a fucking shit show. Yeah, Colin. Um, Colin Holt chipped in right. Um, just fucking nuts. Good to watch. Yeah, that's a, that's one of my favorite terms to watch. Um, Got to see a little bit of Tiger. He uh, he spent some time on Saturday, right? Yeah, we're we gonna gym. see him. We're gonna see him in April. You think? I think he's got to get a tournament in before he just plays the Masters. I'm holding on hope that he's playing. Um, you're right. He's probably got to play once or twice before he's gonna go out and do the Masters. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't sound very convincing that he was close though. So. Uh, he said he was. He's gonna play this year, but yes, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, Jim nice. tried to get it out of him. Hey, well, what if you play this tournament because the course is flatter? And he's like, guys, I, I still struggle to walk. Uh, well, here's the thing. Like, he played with his son in January, didn't he? Yeah, but he gets to ride a cart. No, I, I get that, right? <laughs> but, like. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, you don't, you're not walking at all. You don't think they'd let him ride? I mean. You don't think he'd get a, an exemption to ride a card if he needed to? If he can, if they listen to me, yeah. if they can get Tiger Woods to play at the tournament and he has to ride a fucking cart, they're gonna get a cart. It's Tiger Woods. I don't disagree with that I mean, statement, like, 
but it might be something on him saying, I'm not going to take a cart. A matter of pride saying, I'm not, guys, I'm not going to go out there and play golf on a cart. I'm not going to do it. I don't know. I I mean, I, I could, I could see that pride in him coming through, but it's also like, how many more years does he have left? Not to many. Play, Unless he know? goes to the Saudi League so, or the Greg Norman League. So, <laughs> you know, if I'm him, I'm if I can try to play the Masters this year, probably his favorite tournament, right? I think you said that before. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you can get a card on the Masters. That's a different story. Yeah. Uh, Again, I mean, the Masters. PGA Tour wise, maybe. I, Masters, I think they had that exemption for his, what was it, Casey Martin? Years, years, years ago. And John Daly gets the right one on certain events. John Daly's in the, the, the Champions, Champions League. Tour. I know, but when he plays some of PGA events, he... So I think they still have that. You can get an exemption and, and ride in a cart. I don't know if that's just Tiger being Tiger saying, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing it. Or he's just physically still not yeah. right. You know, it's one thing to go play with your son. And ride around and play some golf in where were they playing? Somewhere about oh, Bermuda. I don't remember where they were playing. But yeah, anyway, I remember. you know, what then another thing to go compete on a tour event. You yeah. Know, maybe the PNC was a tour event. I don't really remember. I think it was, but you know what I mean? Like really go play an event. I don't know. For him, I mean, maybe it's just played, a thing of a pride. Played. He played and now it's four months later, three months later, and he's just like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play. I don't know. Maybe don't that know. shit took a lot out of him. Yeah, you no, know, I, it fucked I, him up. Yeah. I mean, he probably, you know, he wanted to be there with his son and coach his son through it. And that was more important than him playing well, right? Mm-hmm. Ultimately, I'm sure. So Masters is a different animal. But if I'm if I'm Augusta. Yeah, the Masters, right? They're going to get high ratings regardless. Like, people watch the Masters. But if Tiger's playing, you get a lot bigger audience. Oh, yeah. No you matter the tournament. Yeah. So, if, you, if you're if you Augusta, fucking give Tiger Woods a cart. You give him a cart. Or you fucking get a horse out there. Or you <laughs> Something. You fucking get him something to ride on. Yeah, Tiger Woods you, galloping on a white you horse. You carry him. <laughs> He rides on the back of someone. Like, you don't let him walk if he's. You get him one of those little, uh, like a ride scooter. Yeah, um, Walmart. Steal one from Walmart down the street. Come on, it's, it's Augusta. You're not taking something out there from Walmart. You're getting the real deal, like a hoverboard or something. Hoverboard. Se- get him a Segway. Get him something legit. See, a hoverboard might be good though, because you're not touching the ground. Air propelled. True, true. You know, true. not screwing no, up the ground. No, yeah. Now we're on to something. You're on to something, Mark. Here we go. Get yeah, on the every, every now and then I say something and don't realize that it was actually a good idea. Get the man a hoverboard. Here yeah. we go. Tiger on a hoverboard. It really Sound, makes a lot of sense. Sounds safe. Guy can't drive, guy can't drive a point. fucking car and we're going to get him a good hoverboard. Point. If we do get him a cart, uh, his caddy has, has to drive. Well, I take that back. They probably won't let his caddy drive. Let's caddy guy walk. He has to hire someone to drive him. He cannot drive a golf cart. I do not trust him. No one should. Someone's got to drive that for him. Did he, did he, Are you going to end up in a, in a ditch or a creek or a pond or a tree or a tree? Oh, too soon? Too soon? No, it's, it's like 12 years ago. That's kidding. Uh, yeah, that. He should. Uh, I don't. Yeah, he shouldn't be driving. But anyway, uh, Godspeed, Tiger. I hope you surprise us. Maybe you come back for Arnie's tournament. I don't know. There you go. Oh, Bay Hill, uh, then maybe go Bay Hill and take a couple. Two, Bay two Hill, weeks off Sawgrass, and, uh, Masters. I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it. No. Wouldn't Would not be offended. That's no. what he chose. I grabbed a high noon. It was grapefruit. Went and grabbed a different one. It was grapefruit. <laughs> I thought you were a big grapefruit fan, guy. No. Oh, or you got the from hate grapefruit. Oh, dude. Pineapple. 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 Ooh, I like the pineapple. Yeah, big pineapple guy. You don't Mark. like pineapple high noons? No, they're fine. They're not my, they're not my favorite. Are they in your top five? <laughs> More than five Top flavors? five high noon flavors. Uh, 
grapefruit, black cherry. I think there's only eight. So <laughs> grapefruit, black cherry. Oh, grapefruit is one of your favorites. Yeah, I like grapefruit. Watermelon. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know any other ones. Pineapple. I don't Lime. know more than four. No, I don't Lime like is one. Man- is like. mango one? Don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay. But grapefruit made it. So here's this one's for you, Chris. This grapefruit's for you. Suck it back, babe. Mm-hmm. 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 Just finished a uh uh victory golden monkey. Golden monkey, a, such a good yeah. beer. Almost 10% alcohol. Had two of these tonight. Oh, oh boy. Gonna have a headache tomorrow. Look out, Nicole. Nicole's been like asleep for two hours already. I'm not sure what you're, what she's, you should be worried about. She's Go pregnant. Wake up. Wake up. She's pregnant. She ain't waking up. Yeah. <laughs> it sleeps as much as Lily does. So. Oh, anyway. I got a funny story. We were in the, we were in the car today. I know we sidetracked again. And, uh, I just was in the zone. I was taking Kel in a basketball practice and I had, I had lithium on, which is like the uh, yeah. 90s grunge rock alternative station on Sirius XM. Mm-hmm. And uh, Nirvana comes on and it's rape me. And I'm just like, <laughs> listening to it just in the zone trying to practice. God. <laughs> Kellen goes, what's a rape me? He goes, is this, he goes, this sounds like Dave Matthews. I go, no, it's, it's Nirvana. And then I'm like, oh, shit, it's Nirvana. It's date rape. I'm like, get the station. Oh, like, my God. It's like, what's, he goes, what's date rape? Yeah, he or, can or, read, or, too. Oh, rape, rape me. Sorry, rape me. He goes, what's I was say, he me? can read. He yeah, can hear the, no, he can he, hear the lyrics. He can read. He goes, what's rape me? Yeah. Like, oh my god he hears the lyrics he sees the words on the screen oh yeah. fuck yeah yeah that must be a hey didn't want to have this conversation with my son uh this early but what's no. rape dad yeah fuck you know, like god damn it yeah well, uh, ter- it's a terrible do. parenting moment right yeah, there we, yeah bless and learn know what song's on or pay attention yeah, it's. I'm trying to think. Does how does that song start? Rape I don't. Me. It's, just, it's just it goes right into it, right? I like, think so. Like yeah. the first lyric of the song, so it's not like yeah. you could have caught it. It's well, not like I mean, you could hear like an intro to like the songs, like you know the the, yeah. the musical intro is like starting or anything. You could be like, nope, yeah. nope, gotta get this off. Yeah. I think it just jumps right into. I it. bet it played for a minute plus before I realized it, and he asked me because yeah. they say it a lot. No, yeah. no, it's like every 10 words is, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Reminds me of that uh, Succession episode now. Now that's all I think about when I hear that song. When uh, they're having their town hall and he comes in and has a bunch of the Bluetooth speakers set up and just blares that song. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we got <laughs> sidetracked with the strong topic there. Um, what Great tournament do we have? Yeah, what tournament do we have coming up this week? Uh, Honda Classic. Honda, the fl- they're they're out of the West Coast swing and they're down to Florida. Yeah, back to back car dealership tournaments. A lot of car dealerships, I think that. Uh, yeah, no, there are. They throw their money around, but anyway, yeah, the Honda Classic down in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Um, we're we're gonna be close to there. We're gonna be down in Miami this week. We are going. Close- is that close to the Palm Beach Gardens? It's close enough that you're in. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's not like you're in Orlando. How about that? You're yeah, close. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, we got the Honda. But uh, who do you got this week? Yeah, boy, I'm going first, huh? Um, with gonna be a me? lot of uncertainty because this. I mean, I guess we never feel confident with all our picks, but this is a really. Uh, it's a smaller field, yeah, not a lot slim, of big names. Slim pickings as far as potential winners. No, a lot of guys uh, do that. They'll especially when they make that big jump from California to Florida. Yeah, it's uh, three hours too. It's uh, what's three hours? Three hour time difference. Too. Yeah, three hour time difference. And I don't know what the flight is from LA to Miami these days, but it's just a big jump 
to make, especially if you're playing on Sunday. Um, but yeah, down to Palm Beach. And Chris is going to take uh, Brooks. 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 Kepka? Kepka. Okay. Is there another Brooks? There might be. Yeah. Probably. There could, there could be one in the field. Yeah. I don't and know. then for a uh, long what, shot. What, 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 why Brooks, though? Come on. Give me a little oh, why Brooks? Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, a, he's it's, due? A, it's a weird field. He didn't play yeah. great at the Genesis, but he's he played he's played good his last probably three out of four tournaments. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like he's gonna you know maybe take this as a you know time to turn it on and start gearing up for you know some bigger tournaments. So maybe he's done working on the finer things and mm-hmm. does, know, still, does he still have a, blonde hair? He's a bigger name. Um, I yeah, I get. I mean, I guess unless it grew out far enough or he dyed it again, grew out, uh, dyed it, or shaved it. One, well, you know, yeah, who knows? We'll, find, we'll find out. Okay. Um, I just, I mean, plus, plus, I don't want to be. It's another one of those picks like I did earlier. Like, it's a guy that necessarily I feel like I could take him or should take him, and I don't. And I just want to get that feeling out of the way. I just want to okay. get rid of like some guys. <laughs> I feel like this is a good tournament to do that. Yeah, sure. So, bye, Brooks. Okay. So you got Brooksy, and then who did you take to? Oh, so uh, top ten. Top ten. Uh, who's your guy? Top ten long shot, uh, Zach Johnson. Never heard of him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, played played well at waste management. Yeah, week. no, he's a nice solid golfer. Yeah. So again, it's a field. It's more of a field play than, than anything yeah. else. Okay, I'm you, ready. You I'm go. ready. You, you ready? Show me yours. Uh, okay i'm going with a billy horschel i knew it you knew it I how a, did you how would i had a feeling would you have known it i had a feeling you're going with billy because i also was almost considering picking billy oh billy's been playing well this year i know he does, he's yeah. been playing good golf yeah he's a, he's a very he's underrated golfer i think he is re- very, you know what he is very not i don't think about, he's one of uh, yeah. not a one of major no uh, never been like competes, a Ryder Cup guy. Competes but he wins, a lot. He competes. He wins some tournaments. I think he's actually won a FedEx. I'm one of. I'm almost certain he's won a FedEx Cup. We get our idea. Look at this. Before. Get our idea of this. Before someone fact checks me, I think he's won a FedEx Cup. I am pretty certain of this. Just a Billy Horschel FedEx Cup winner. I, I'm. I'm. I feel good about this comment. Uh, um, yeah so like, but can you guess the year oh but he did win he did win oh then fuck i don't care 2014 yes jesus what yeah 2014 shut the shut the back door what 2014 yeah no you're oh. right you're right when you said that i'm thinking i think mark's right on this i think he's right and bingo look at this guy now yeah. Billy's winning for sure. Did R did R and D text you first? Do you think R and D would do anything for me? No, not the way you treat them. They Just take pride you in do. making me look stupid. See what you do off camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. anyway, Billy Horschel. Okay. Gonna make a big impression this week. He's um, won this tournament before too, I believe. I might have done my research here, Chris. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't, but. Um, <laughs> all right do you are you ready for my win play show long shot top 10 it's longer than long that's what she said uh, that was a sub come on you could have easily oh, that's what know. she said yeah thank you uh i'm going he's a fan he's a favorite of mine now ian poulter look at you think he's that big of a long shot Oh, he's, I got him at plus 6,600. Okay. So that's, it's, it's out there. Um, but I think, uh, he plays well in Florida. He lives in Florida. He likes Florida golf. Brooks is in Florida too. So that's another, that's another point for Brooks. 50% of the guys live in, probably more than 50% of the guys live in Florida at this point. Sure. Why Uh, not? Yeah. Well, if you're a golfer, you're going to live somewhere where it's warmer. You play yeah in the winter makes sense totally you know. <laughs> or you, you can play in the office you're not, gonna, you're not gonna live here no you're not why gonna the, make why the fuck Chicago. do we live here <laughs> I, I 
I ask myself that all the time. If it was up to me, we wouldn't live here. Yeah. I wouldn't live here anymore. I feel like we had this conversation every episode. We've had this conversation a lot, and I'll never probably Water win litter. it. Water so, unless I pay for her whole family to move. Does that, does that include me and Natalie? Well, no. You're, oh. actually, you're, you're in a different. You're an exemption. You guys can pay for yourself. Um, and actually, now that we're talking, you can pay for half of everybody <laughs> to move. <laughs> Why not? We pay for everything else. <laughs> We split everything else. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going Ian uh, to show. Uh, he's a uh, shower, not a grower. So we're gonna have him. Uh, he's. I'm, I'm gonna hit. A, I'm. I'm gonna hit a top ten this week, and Billy's gonna win. So it's gonna be one oh. of those weeks that yeah, you feel good about we're, that. Huh? We're gonna be talking about next week where it's like, oh shit, Mark, Mark actually it. got one right. He did it. In the same time, he got both right. Just, yeah, I don't know. Thanks. I just don't know, man. Thanks. The top 10 is so hard. The long shot top 10 is pretty difficult. Yeah, we're not good. Um, our hit rate is not good right now. It's still early. Um, but we got we got a lot of work to do. Maybe the Florida, the shift down to Florida will help us. And speaking of shift down to Florida, we are we're taking the breakfast balls podcast down to Miami shifting it to Miami. Yeah. yeah. We're taking this show. On we're the taking our talents to South beach, baby. We absolutely are taking our talents to South beach. Uh, we'll be there Thursday through Sunday. Here we come. It's close, man. This is the, this is the hard part. This, these next couple of days, cause they take forever. <laughs> yeah. The itch is real. Um, just get out of this shithole weather. Just want to play, play some play golf. real golf, not hitting off of a mat anymore. Yeah, no, um, done with it. Yeah, we're in a dark stretch right now where it feels like it's been forever since we've hit a real golf ball on grass. So um, I would agree with that sentiment. Now we're going to go to, Berm- to play some Bermuda golf, but little, some, it's fine. It's going to be warm. It's going to be yeah. low 80s, good humidity for the bones, keep the back loose, right? Good humidity for the bones. Haven't heard that one before. I love yeah, it. Yeah, you know, keep the body loose, right? Like yeah. the humidity, like that's why all those old people live there, man. It's the fucking humidity. That and the taxes. And yeah, the there's no but... there's no state income tax, <laughs> sure. But uh, yeah, you, you know, got the... 10 guys uh, partaking in a golf trip. That's um crazy. And do a little modified Ryder Cup, not even really Ryder Cup. They don't, yeah. You know, just a mo- just a tourney that get ten guys together and put together a tourney, play uh, a lot of golf in a short period of time. Six and, rounds, four days. Six rounds in four days. Yeah, so we're playing Dor- Doral on on Thursday. The blue Doral, monster. the blue, the big blue monster, home to to one Donald Trump. Um, He'll probably be there. He might come play a couple, watch us play, play a couple us. holes. Might see us tear off on one and be like, damn, I need to play with those guys. He's like, holy shit, we might need to stick with these, these guys. These guys are a couple degenerates. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Don, Donald, the Don. We got the a Don. So we got the Don on Thursday. We yeah. got a, uh, is it on Biltmore on Friday? Biltmore. Friday. What did I say? Yeah, that's what you're. you're, oh, you're, thought, you're, you're asking a question like. Built oh, I thought Friday? you were correcting me. Like I didn't. Say I'm Ron more. Burgundy. I am <laughs> Mark Button. So we're playing that 36 at the built. Is it the built more or is it just built more? Uh, the lowercase. Okay. Built more. The built more. So the 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 built more on oh Friday, and then Jakarta on Saturday. <laughs> No, not Jakarta. Jakaranda. Jakaranda. Jakarta. Yeah. Aaron. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> Be uh, nice. <laughs> on Saturday, um, a lot of golf, and then Sunday is TBD. There's so some options. Yeah. So anyone listening in the Miami, Florida area that should would want to suggest a course. Or play, with so. us. or play with us or are a member at a private club and want us to come play that club 
we will do so. Uh, just let us know. I'm not sure what our ranking is in the Miami, Florida area. It will be pretty yeah. high after this week, I would imagine, but I don't know what it is leading into this. Yeah, we're good value play right now. How Miami. are we doing out in Sweden after that last? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get a okay. chance to look at look at the numbers. Just making sure we didn't make but, seven uh, at all. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. We've got a we've got we've got a big money game planned. Uh, excited to play some golf. It's going to be a good trip. We got a pretty sick ass house uh, right by right by uh, South Beach. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great trip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, any of the listeners interested in meeting up with the BBP, let us know. Clark Mark's number is 847. Uh, <laughs> it's a 312 number. 312-555-6969. Give me a call. <laughs> uh, glad to meet you out for a cocktail or two. Actually, just DM <laughs> us and then I'll meet you out. Don't use that phone number. You know it's not going to get you anywhere. Um <laughs> Jesus, please don't send nudes. We'll try. <laughs> yeah, Chris, you don't want to get Chris excited. Oh, God. Did you give my number? Is that my number? You don't know your number? Um, Kidding, you probably don't know your own number. I, you know my number. I also have a 312 number. Yeah. Uh, um, anyways, what's our. Uh, so we got, we got a big game bet going right like we've got you know yeah, 10 so, guys who so got a rider cup yeah. format so let's rider focus cup. On, we're, we're mark and i are on the same team this is what's going to be tough we have we're on the same team but i still think we need to have a challenge between us um, for sure for sure the problem i'm a little concerned about is because we're obviously playing a team event and you can essentially give yourself you can, if you're not in the hole anymore, you're going to be given your pot. No, probably, well, that's right? not true because we layered on top um, payouts daily for low net and low gross score. So your score matters for ultimate payouts mm-hmm. for the day. Yeah, so, I don't disagree with what you're saying. There's not a ton of incentive to just say pick it up, but – you know, you might give like if the putt doesn't matter for the hole, mm-hmm. you're out of the hole, maybe the guys give you a, a four or five footer, but it's gonna happen across the board. I think that's gonna even out okay over, okay. over the three rounds, right? Like All I don't right. think that's a big issue. All right. So what's our what is our bet? Because right now, what's the difference between you and I in terms of a handicap? It's a couple strokes. Yeah, so it's gonna be based on it's gonna be based on net score. Yes. Uh, I'm you're just I'm saying six six and you're a ten. 8, 10, 7, nine. 10, 9. So it's four. So four strokes, yeah. So. But it's going to be, it doesn't, I mean, that doesn't matter because if we do everything off a of net, we're all, we're getting strokes. Yes. So you're not stroking uh, extra off of me. We get strokes for the rounds. Correct. Right. Correct. So, yeah. So it's going to be fine. We don't need to do anything. We don't need to worry about that. We just make it gross. Or net, I'm sorry. I'm saying gross net score totals, right? So I think I think last year we did lowest round and lowest total. I think we did. I think you're right. I think we did best round. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it all has to be net. So best round, best total. Yeah. And what else most did we bir- do? We did most birdies. Most birdies. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because I think you did like a four birdie. Didn't you four birdie me at, right like off the get? The I had a get, lot right? of birdies the first Like off the, the plane? First round. Yeah. Yeah. You went four birdies. It was a big. You had one. I think you had. I think I, I, I think I made it close. You did. I think I said, I think I only won by one, one or two. But that's a big number to. That's a big number to post first. Day. Anyway. Yeah. 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 I'll stick with it. I think that worked, right? So, low round, low total, and most uh, most birdies. Yeah, we added in an incentive if you swept. I think we did a hundred dollars per Was it bet, like a, and then when, if you swept, you got like two hundred extra bucks. Sorry, because you wrote me a five hundred dollar check last year. I'm just saying, 
I feel like a really like five hundred something dollars. Maybe five hundred fifty dollar check. But it, it was. I felt like it was a weird number. Um, five fifty. I think it was five. Oh, maybe it was. I don't. It was remember. a pretty think, big. That was a pretty big payday. No, yeah, that's it. Uh, it sucked for me. <laughs> um, I thought there was like some weird number. That's I don't know why, but I don't know how we would. Could have been five fifty, but I don't know how we would have done that either. Maybe you pay me for some golf balls or something. <laughs> I could have. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, oh, no. should we throw like another wrinkle in there? I, I don't know. I mean, what what would the I, I'm open to anything? Mo, uh, at least pots. We'd have to keep track of our number of pots, though. Not fair. That's not. Yeah, I, that's a lot. That's a lot to ask. Right. Over that's six a lot. Rounds of golf. Yeah. No, I'm asking. Most least lost balls. <laughs> ah, boy. Again, that's a lot to ask. You have to count. Um, I, I don't that's too much to ask keep track of how many balls yours i know yeah. it's a big number yeah, yeah. Uh, it's too arbitrary you know, no, no, i think it's right. too much room for error yeah no i think so i just i was just um, thinking of trying to think of something fun something else we could track yeah um most m- most most points. double pars um <laughs> most points awarded during the Ryder cup so like if you win if your team wins okay. you win the most points okay uh, I could get on board with that. Um, yeah. Sure, I can get on board with that. So we'll add that as a wrinkle, right? So yeah. hundred bucks for each one of those. Yeah, yeah, hundred bucks for each one of those. Okay. So hundred bucks for low round, hundred bucks for low total, um, hundred bucks for most birdies, and these are all net based. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Even birdies, Correct. right? Yeah sure yeah i'm just i'm asking i mean i think we did natural birdies last time okay uh i don't, and remember, then, I don't remember though i think I we did natural. i think we did natural it makes it it's easier to remember that's for yeah. sure yeah natural birdies or natural eagles whatever yeah. not you know we, we've not you haven't gotten an eagle before like it could happen like if you get an eagle it's going to count towards that total i'm my, good for I'm maybe saying. one e- one eagle each. sure and maybe you get it this week i'd love the point, to the point i'm saying is if you got an eagle it's true hey take that back got an eagle at your member gas last year you did you yeah. did that's what i'm saying you get, you've gotten eagles before what i'm saying is if you get an eagle it counts towards that birdie total sure it yeah. counts as two it's minus two it counts as one. <laughs> Fine. Uh, so what do we say? So birdies and then total, total oh, points, points awarded based off of uh, the matches you play in. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All things we can easily keep track of. For sure. Yeah. That easily that done. I can that I can uh, that I can get on board with. Hundred bucks a uh, a uh, a bet, right? Yeah, hundred bucks yeah, a bet. Four hundred total. If you sweep, six hundred bucks. And if you sweep, you throw in an extra two. Yeah. Okay. I can get over with that. Okay. Man, I'm going to write a big, thank God there's no big check coming. Or is oh, there? Oh, is there? Did you? Or is there? Damn it, Chris. Or is there a big check going to be there? Do you still have that big check from last year? No. You didn't, I don't know. I, I think we left. I didn't bring it. And then we didn't bring it home in the airplane. <laughs> I think we left it in the hotel. They threw up on the airplane, so I have no idea. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope that sitting, doesn't happen are we sitting, again. Yeah, because I think I'm sitting right next to you this time. <laughs> oh, you're sitting next to me on the way there. The way home, we're on different planes. You're all right. Don't different worry. Different planes? Yeah, yeah. I'm on a different airline on the way home. Oh, what are you on? I'm on American. I had this credit. That, we're, leaving, uh, we're leaving at the same time now? Yeah. I leave at, uh, I think, 4.30. Oh, that's what we have too. Yeah. You're on a different it, plane, huh? I had a credit. I was never going to fly American. Uh, and Miami is an American hub, so it just made sense. Okay. Um, I was never going to use it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Fuck you. Um, I'm sorry. Why are you upset? I'm not upset. No, I'm fine. No, you just, you actually said, fuck you. No, I didn't. It tickled my throat. No, no there's no tickle in your throat Whiskey. that says, fuck you. That's a different tickle you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> tickle in your pickle? No, pickle, tickle. No. 
Anyway. Oh, okay. um, All right, so that's a hefty bet. I've raised the, raised the dollar amount $100 this year. I think so. I swear I, I wrote a check for like 517 or something last year. <laughs> I wish we got to find that photo. Um, uh, I could probably find it pretty quickly. Yeah, just like search your photos for the check. Like type in check. Yeah, I don't know. Search fun. You break. You don't want to do that. You're not that smart. Um, yeah, it's um, or just look, look by date. You're there in mid February. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I swear I wrote a weird number check, but that's all right. Um, yeah, we'll find out and we'll let we'll let you guys know. I think it was just five hundred bucks. Could have been. So total of six hundred dollars out there available for the taking on um this week this week a lot of jesus things. christ it's a, it's a big fucking bet. how are you feeling are you ready you know i got a lot of things running through my head still working through a lot of swing changes oh, and God. now putting changes should we cut this are you, are you, should we do you cut this bet in half you know um whatever um no 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 uh, i don't uh, you know, just, you know, I am going left hand low now. For those of you that don't know what left hand low is, it's just instead of your normal right hand being on the bottom reverse the grip, cup, it's a reverse grip. Um, and been working, working that, um, yeah. get used to that. I'm not too worried about it. Um, you've been practicing. Putting? No, Chris, I just. No. I just in my head have been like, you know what? I'm just going to switch, not do anything, not practice, just do it the first time out. Oh, okay, that makes sense. No, I'm kidding. I have, you know, just practicing, obviously indoors because you can't putt outside. So yeah, putting on a mat, no, you're practicing, working on putting the ball straight. So I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. No. Um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Got uh, still working through the swing. Um, but I feel a lot better than I did about a year ago because a year, well, I guess a year I hadn't even really started, but, uh, a lot better than I did six months ago. So yeah, we'll, uh, uh, well, I think I feel better. I feel pretty comfortable. <laughs> maybe not with the, maybe not winning the bat, but I feel comfortable just playing, playing golf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm a little concerned. You're just gonna fucking come out firing. I well, I I wouldn't be concerned about that. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't think you have much to worry about in that department. Uh, yeah, no, I would be just focused on contact and accuracy right now. So. <laughs> don't tj tj told me he was he was fucking getting you fired up to kick my ass getting you prepared mentally getting that swing dialed in he said you look good he said mark swing looks good i don't know if he's trying to get in my head yeah he's, i don't he said it looks so good mark swing goes mark swings looks good he's hitting the ball well you know he hit the it's, screen it's, a couple of times yeah yeah it didn't hit the wall so uh you know it's, it's a lot of building up my confidence. Hey, you hit the giant screen exactly. that is four feet by 12 feet. Thank God you didn't hit it in the wall again. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we'll see. But I would not be worried about me, you know, posting any uh, uh, net we scores. Need to, below we need to cut the bat in half. Should we cut the bat in half? Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think I'll get swept. How about that? That's okay. That, that's what good. I'm focused on. No, no, it makes me feel better. Yeah. I don't think I, I'm going to sweep you either. I'm actually worried about giving you 600 bucks. I don't feel just feel like it's payback for last year. Uh, like, I, I, sweeping would be uh, meaning you played really, really bad. And that would not bode well for the team event. <laughs> um, that would mean you played pretty, pretty bad. No, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, or do I have anything to be worried about in the team event that you are going to be posting no, big numbers? Okay, I don't, I don't think so. But like, I, I think a lot's dependent on how the fucking evenings play out. Well, I think to be fair, everybody's going to be dealing with that. So I think that levels the playing field. Um, sure. Because I don't think anyone will be playing sober 
golf um, after Thursday. Well, I I wasn't even gonna use Thursday because you know a three hour flight. You never know what could happen. Yeah. A couple yeah. couple of cocktails on the flight. A couple of cocktails on the course. Here we go. Where's the so, party? Party in the city when the heat is on. Welcome to Miami. All night on the beach of the brink of dawn. Welcome to Miami. Anyway, yeah, here we come. We're coming. See you there. To Miami. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for this episode of the Breakfast Balls podcast. If you like what you heard and like learning from our mistakes, please subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, please follow us at breakfastballs.podcast. Panda! Listen! Hundreds of scammers, black accents, family, what you see? Panda! Woo!